This is Justice with Tablet Chrome. I'm super, super excited because of, well, if you read the title to this video, you understand that this is about ZBrush. I have been pushing for this for years and years and years, and I just found out based on a comment, actually, someone had uh, asked. I, I went into the ZBrush settings, and there is a setting for uh, Windows events, uh, Windows mouse events. Uh, it doesn't matter. So ZBrush now works with simultaneous pen and touch, which is amazing. Um, the last giant one to get this would be, the last two would be Photoshop and Blender, which do not, as far as I know, support simultaneous pen and touch, which is a shame because it makes this experience infinitely better and more natural and um, what we want it to be. So I'm using a laptop studio and we have a GPU and a powerful CPU and ZBrush and it's awesome. The pressure and everything works the way you want. So let's go ahead and just jump into that. All right, you ready? Okay, so here we are in the screen. Let's go ahead and increase the subdivision levels. And you can see I'm pressing the giant alt button and you can see that I can do all the normal alt things but I have my left hand on on the side of the screen and my right one holding the stylus and I can actually do the normal expected behavior just like I had these buttons on a keyboard next to me except for this is far 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 more comfortable so this is huge humongous big deal all right, so let's go ahead and go in here. Let's increase the subdivision again. And I am not a 3D modeler. This is not something I know how to do. I think it'd be really fun to, to get used to it and to understand uh, how, how to do these different things. But um, let's see. Again, I do not know what I'm doing. But basically just going to show here a little bit of, of this. So you can kind of see the uh, whoops. All right, let's go here. Okay, so <laughs> beautiful. This is a face. That's that's the uh, concept we're going with here. All right, so you guys can see. Um, what I'm doing and how it works. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so ZBrush, this is so awesome. This is something that, that I, a huge amount of, uh, of you have been asking for for years. And this is, this is what I've been pushing for more than anything else. We've had options with drawing before for simultaneous pen and touch. Um, Rebel adding it was humongous. Clip Studio uh, supports simultaneous pen and touch. So, oh god, this is hideous. Okay, so you guys can see here just how this works. And it is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, and I have the um, have a right click mapped here to the side button. So you can do all those nice things that you're used to. All right. Woo All right. Um, uh, buttons like this one, the size one, you need to set up inside of the settings. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly here. And I'm going to show you what settings you need to turn on for this to work because I haven't even shared that part. I've been distracted. Okay. So here we have this set up. I'm using the pen tool, which is what's auto loading these presets and uh, we're going to go to uh, transparent and make this transparent and then we're going to move the mouse pointer over the top of right here the draw size and we're going to click location wherever we want it to actually start which i recommend not having it start at the very very lowest somewhere in the middle okay location and we're going to go right here and we're going to paste it oh i had the exact same spot okay let's go back here and we'll click save. That's all you have to do to get that to work. And here, 
You can see we can drag up and down the draw size. And yeah, you can set this up, customize it however you want. Okay, here is the setting. So, oh, there's a bug uh, here if you try and uh, shrink the UI. So notice right over here, by the way, this says tool tips now. Yay. Okay, so you can turn those on and off here. But if we um, move this, let's just move it. You can see this is over here underneath. If this is not all the way full screen, then there's a bug and this doesn't work. It maps to the wrong location. So uh, you're going to cover part of the UI. Okay, back here, and let's go to preferences and to tablet and WM event. This may have been here for a, a full version and I never noticed it. Um, oh well, uh, that's. <laughs> It's too bad because I've been trying to get this working for so long. Like 90% of the improvements in Tablet Pro have come from trying to make ZBrush work. So I don't think it's clear how significant this is for me because this has been a giant um, a thorn in the flesh. <laughs> it's uh, been a catalyst for improvement and growth. So thank you, Pixelogic. All right, and Paul, thank you. Um, okay, that's it. That's what you got to do. Uh, set that there to um, WM events uh, performance. I drop max threads down just one because for some reason uh, it seems to make everything work smoother. So I recommend trying that as well. If you have questions or comments or want to celebrate with me, woo 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 woo, then um, comment, like the video. And please, for the love of God, rate the store app up for the pen tool and the Tablet Pro Manager because we get a lot of bad reviews for people who um, don't understand that the uh, main program like ZBrush, if it doesn't work, then if it doesn't have the correct APIs like that WM event um, tablet one, that we simply cannot do simultaneous pen and touch. It needs that that connection on the um, program side for this works. We get a lot of bad reviews. So um, I will put a link um, and I'll pin it to the top of this video. Please rate us highly if you use us and you want Tablet Pro to continue to grow and improve and thank you. All right, have a great day and I will see you in the next video.